Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Tuesday, May 15th, 2018. People, are you seeing what's going on right now? Um, it's almost prophetic, seriously. In the video I did just last night, I explained to you how the action in the stock market was all about the 10-year yield. It's all about the bond market. I've been outlining this for you for a while but these last two days I've been explaining how I hate lines in the stand but this uh, this 10 year yield being above 3% seems to be a line in the sand for the stock market well as I am doing this video blog the US 10 year yield is 3.063 the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 200 points and the yield curve people the yield curve has again flattened further. The spread, again, as I am doing this video, between the 10 year and the 30 is now 12.5 basis points. I mean, every day I sit here and I cover this, and every day we see that yield curve getting flatter. And you, do you want to laugh? I mean, seriously, I don't want to harp at all on, on Jim Cramer, but he's over there today on, on CNBC talking about how millennials are out there spending their money on liquor. Meanwhile, doesn't want to talk about how stocks are melting down, doesn't want to talk about the 10-year yield, he doesn't want to address the flattening yield curve. Jim, look man, uh, get with the program. Seriously, I think this is probably one of the first times I've ever said anything negative about you, but uh, this is, stop with the distractions here. Let's focus on what's going on. It's the truth, and I'm talking to not just Jim Cramer, but all of the Confederacy over there. The Confederacy's people, these I mean, look, it's, I don't know what's wrong with them. Well, actually, I think I do know what's wrong with them. Um, they're reading scripts here. They're, they're, they're props for distraction because they cannot allow people to see what's going on right around them. Yield curves around the world are flattening and inverting. It's not getting any coverage. It's unbelievable. Our yield curve flattens at literally an alarming pace. And uh, again, it's all about the bond market, which is in the biggest bubble the world has ever seen by exponents, and it's going to wreak havoc around the world, unlike anything that anyone can really imagine, because it's a resource problem at its core. We are borrowing from the future to sustain where we are. If we cannot, if we max out that credit card, and it's already way maxed out, <laughs> basic resources will not be available to anyone, and we will end up in... Forget about the Great Depression. This will be the greatest depression uh, uh, probably in ever uh, that can be imagined by anyone. It, it'll eclipse the Great Depression by exponents, seriously. But again, you know, they want to talk about millennials drinking uh, on CNBC. You got to be kidding me. You really got to be kidding me here. But this is this is what unfortunately they reduced people to on on CNBC. Uh, it's a damn shame. If I were Jim Cramer, I would be running. For, I wouldn't show up my face on that show ever again. Uh, it, 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 I mean, it's a comedy act. It really is. All right. Anyway, um, so people, despite what we're seeing here in the debt market that's in a lot of trouble right now, gold and silver are being pressured. It's not real. There's no price action. The London Gold Fix, you know about this. They're going to do whatever they have to do. Here's the issue. If they don't intervene here with the bond market, this big problem's coming and it could be rapidly. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. I have been explaining to you that I think they're going to at least attempt to prop this up through the midterms. Will it work? Don't know. The bond market is so big. It's so huge that even world central banks, because it's all rigged by them, will lose control. They always get it wrong, or they get it right, and they're trying to at least um, foster a meltdown, which will create a wealth transfer. That's all this is, all it is, and we see this all the time. Again, this is nothing new for the trolls out here. Markets run in cycles. We get boom cycles, bust cycles, and they're engineered that way because more cash is made faster when markets fall than when they rise. Because the, why is that? Because the average guy and the average girl who's relying on their, their fund manager 
or their broker who are brain dead, let me tell you that right now, uh, to help them through this, they're going to say, oh, no, don't worry about it. Just stay where you are as stocks lose 50, 60, 70 percent. Uh, this time will not be like the last time when we melt down. They can't reinflate this bubble. They've reinflated it on the back of the dead bubble. They can't reinflate another debt bubble because that's the problem. The debt bubble is going to pop. I'm not saying that's happening now, but we have trouble right here in the bond market. And it's going to be interesting to see how they try to fix this. Are they going to get in here and start buying everything in sight? More than likely, that's what they're going to do. Um, but then again, there is going to become a moment in time when no matter what they do, they cannot stop the meltdown in the bond market and every single bubble connected to it including the stock market bubble, will pop in a series. It'll go boom, 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 a cascade of events that is going to rock the core of the earth. All right, people, uh, go look at the bond market chart on my website. Link in the description of this video. If your eyeballs explode after seeing that, I apologize in advance, but you have to have a look at that. And I hope you're watching this video right on my website. Everything you need is right there. Forget YouTube. Go to my website um, and take advantage of everything that's there for you. It's all free. All right, with that said, I can't wait till the end of the day, and we're going to talk about it. See you.